Okay, this will be a demonstration on how to import sounds in Flash and how to import them into Premiere and make some editing to it. First thing I'm doing here is freesound.org. Uh, go to, if you can't find it, just go to Google, freesound, and it should be the first one. I got some weird pop up coming up. It's not normally, I don't know, it must have some spam tracker thing here. If not, just type it into your browser, freesound.org, www. So, uh, that logout would be a login. Uh, all you need is like an email and a create a password, and then you're all set. Uh, just go ahead, start playing around, look for some sounds. You can test them here. And then you download it. I'm using Chrome. Show in folder. And I am importing, or I'm renaming these sounds. Uh, this one's Gunfire, which I just downloaded. This one is uh, for the Premiere. Um, it's uh, Flash doesn't like this wave file for some reason, so I'm going to show you how to edit it and bring it back into Flash without any problems. Open up Flash, import, import to library. And here we go. Locate your file. So I've got my gunfire sound imported to the library. I know it's about a second long. I'm going to insert a frame at about 24 frames or 25 frames. I'm going to click and drag it onto the stage. And there you go. Uh, when doing this, just import one sound per layer. And make sure that you have a keyframe because that's where the sound knows when to start. Go into the properties of that sound and change it to stream. And all you do is just make sure you have that layer highlighted and go into the properties. Or even uh, just inside of the timeline, just click in there and it'll pop up in the properties. Change the sync to stream. So now we're going to show you another thing. Import, import to library. I have a sound body fall open. One or more files were not imported because there were problems reading them. Okay. So that file will not import. So I'm opening up Premiere and it's loading up. It'll just be a second, it's just loading all of the things the program needs. And I'm going to open up a new project. Everything needs is fine. Display format, I do frames because I'm working with frames. Uh, that is for high definition or just standard. I'm going to browse. Go into the folder and I'm going to locate my sound or locate a, a new folder to save the project to. You have to do this every time you open Premiere. And for this, I'm just creating a folder called Sound Edit. I'm going to select that folder and rename it to Bodyfall. That's the name of the sound. It's just a f sound I. Uh, found that was giving flash issues so in case that happens this is all fine because we're just going to export the audio and um, it really doesn't matter too much whatever it is I just use whatever is default there and 
Now I've got Premiere open. I'm going to import. I'm going to locate the sound. It's the body fall sound open. I've got the sound over here in the bottom left corner. I'm going to click and drag and bring it to the front of the timeline. I'm going to grab the right side of the scroll bar to zoom in. And you notice your levels are on the right side, so when you're scrubbing through, you will be able to tell where the loudest sounds are. Over here. And I'm going to export the media because I don't need to make any edits to it. I'm going to do MP3. Output name, that's where you're going to be saving it to. And go to import sound, and that's the folder I created. I'm going to save it to there. I'm going to make sure stereo is checked, and codex fast, and export. Okay. And now, when you have Flash and Premiere open, um, when you import it, it imports fine, and uh, you'll see in a second. Import, imports library. If the file is open in um, Premiere, so I'm going to select the sound edit, open, and you'll see Premiere just pops up. Uh, it's only because I haven't closed it, and it's because it's uh, still open in that file. Adobe's like that. Because they both coincide within one another. You'll see the sound waves on the timeline, and they play just fine. So, that's troubleshooting that issue if you have a audio file that does not want to be imported into Flash. You can simply use Premiere to export it as a different um, sound form like MP3. I could have even done waveform. I'm sure that would have worked perfectly fine. And I'm going to show you one more thing. So, offliberty.com. Um, there's many types of websites like this. And I'm going to go to youtube.com. I am going to find a sound. Gunfire sound effect. So, here, what I'm doing is, um, I know I want to use this sound for gunfire, but I only want to use one section of it. I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to go to offliberty.com and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to click the little power button and it is going to start processing it. Then it says right click here and save link as or you can click I want video file but I only need the sound. And save link as. It tells you right here um, how to do it. Right click, save link as. Go to the folder that you want. Where you want to save it to. That's fine. Sound effects heard in movies from YouTube.com or offliberty.com, something like that. So now I've got my sound downloading. It's about a two minute audio clip or more, so just a little over two minutes, I think. So it'll just be a few seconds. Okay, it's done. I've already saved it to the right folder. I'm going to delete the body fall because I don't need it right now uh, for this portion of the demonstration. I'm going to import, I'm going to do gun sound effects heard in movies from YouTube by Off Liberty. Open. Now I've got my sound effect. I'm going to click and drag and bring it into the audio. You're not going to be able to bring it into video because it's not uh, a video. It's audio. And now I'm just scrubbing through to find a uh,
the sound I was wanting. Um, so, I'm going to just go about to right before the sound starts, and then I'm going to use the arrow key to just scrub through quickly, and now I see that the sound is popping up. So I'm going to just scrub back a few frames. And... I'm going to use the razor tool to uh, make a cut, and I'm just going to click where the uh, playhead is, where that red line crosses. So I'm going to scrub forward a little bit, and you see the levels on the right side. It's going all the way up into the red because it is uh, gunfire, so it's loud. I'm using the arrow keys to scrub back a little bit. I'm going to use the razor tool, keyboard shortcut C. Select right on there on the red line. I'm going to now I can delete these two sections um, because I made the cuts there, and Premiere knows that it's uh, been separated. And I'm going to bring it all the way back into the beginning of the uh, audio file, all the way to zero frames, so it starts at zero. I'm going to make sure it's at MP3, but you can export it as a waveform right here. But MP3 is just fine. You have AAC audio. Uh, I'm going to stick with MP3, though. So I'm going to select on the name, and I'm going to change the name of this to Gunfire 2. And that will be fine. And I'm going to then select Export. I'm going to open up Flash. I'm going to import to Library. I'm going to select Gunfire 2. I'm going to open. I'm going to go back into Flash. Uh, because I still had Premiere open, um, it knew the file was originally from there. And um, I'm going to make sure I'm on the first frame. And now you see the wave uh, in the timeline. Uh, make sure it's set to stream. And it should play perfectly fine. It does. Just rename your layer and Gunfire 2. And that's about it. Um, that's how you import sound and edit it.